My friends, welcome back to another tutorial and uh, this time I want to show you how to remove stuff. In this case, I want to remove some static airplanes from uh, um, a third party third party airport. Uh, it could be a freeware one, a payware one. This one is a freeware one that I downloaded from uh, flysync.to. It's uh, Rammstein in Germany. Uh, let's say I want to remove uh, uh, this this big plane because it's on the airport. I want to taxi over the airport. And to do this, I need to create a project. So I go to I go to enable the div mode. You know, I go to the div mode and create a new project. I need to give the place where I want to save my project, which is the uh, a folder in my documents folder, which is called uh, my FS projects. And I'm going to give this a project name and this will be uh, maybe triple Z Ramstein exclude. And I will explain the, the reason of the triple Z later. Create new project and will be a custom project. Triple Z Ramstein exclude. And the same year and as a content type will be scenery. I'm gonna press next. Custom asset group will be uh, Ramstein exclude or maybe it will be a Ramstein placement. I click create. And then uh, if you haven't already, it's the, um, the inspector opened. You have to go to the view and click on inspector. So you have your inspector ready. Uh, maybe you have it here, so you can push this like this. And uh, clicking on the project, which is in the uh, light blue color, you have to go to the inspector, click on this black box that um, need, you need to have a thumbnail here, which is a uh, um, image, a JPEG, 412 by 170 pixel. We can pick this from uh, wherever we want. Uh, or from another project, maybe on the SDK. So I go to the MFS SDK samples and be from a simple scenery, path sources, our package definition, my company content info, it is a thumbnail that can, uh, that can I use for this, uh, for the scope. Next, I'm gonna click on the little arrow Click on the BGL inspector and load in editor. We don't need the material editor. Don't worry for this error. Now you have to open the objects window if you haven't already. Click view objects and the object window would be here and you can drag it in the scenery editor. So you can zoom in, go to objects. I'm going to select the exclusion rectangle object and I'm going to press add. So back in the scenery editor, you can see that we have this uh, giant rectangle, which we can um, resize to fit the object we want to exclude. Okay. The rectangle should include the um, origin point of uh, the object we want to exclude it is not visible so in this case we want to uh, cover all the entire object and this will probably exclude also this one and this one then we can go to the properties and untick the exclude all object and i'm gonna select exclude a library object so we are okay with uh, this object here then we can duplicate maybe because there are other planes that we want to exclude. Remember, you can't rotate this exclusion rectangles. And by the by the way, if you select an object and go to the with the mouse and click the middle mouse button in the middle, you can see that you can uh, rotate eventually, but this object can rotate and you can scale the object it's a cycle and this way is in that way you can move when you see those square 
if you want to know where the origin of an object is, you could uh, do like this. We should know the name of the object, and to know the name of the object, you can go to um, options and the back model LODs, or those writings are the, the size of the LOD. If you can click a display name, now this is the Galaxy C5. We have other object here, uh, we have a tarmac worker, and so on. And here, where, um, well, this is the Galaxy C5, okay? And uh, so to know where the, <laughs> the origin point of the object is, uh, you can click on objects and add it as an object of your scenery. So click on scenery, click on all, and I'm gonna click galaxy, it will be this one. And if we go back to the scenery editor, the point where uh, the, the gizmodos arrows are is the origin point of, uh, the, of the object we want to exclude. So we can uh, eventually narrow down, yeah, delete, we don't need this in this position. We can probably narrow down uh, this exclusive rectangle to the middle of the airplane, uh, should be good. Okay, great. And with this method, we can also uh, know if an object is a single object or is part of a bigger object. Uh, for example, uh, let's um, let's select only the object of this package, and this is Ramstein. Yeah, Ramstein. This is only Ramstein. Uh, so, for example. Uh, here we have uh, the, the terminal and we can't exclude only this building because this, this is only one object and there are third-party scenarios where the um, the static aircraft are part of a enormous object and uh, this is bad modeling practices and uh, should be avoided and eventually you can't exclude the static planes Mm, or, and uh, you can exclude uh, the, the, the whole, uh, the whole uh, scenery and it's not good, it's not good for you. Uh, so, okay, we are done with the exclusion rectangle, we can press save scenery, and it uh, could be that you, uh, that is up and that you have a, a save folder dialog asking you where you want to save uh, this uh, the scenery placement, and uh, this is going to save into your, uh, um, oh, well, uh, where it is, into your documents, your project, your project folder, which is this one, wraps and exclude, inside a package services scenery, and this is the file you have, um, you need to save, I have already done before. Uh, okay, we are mm, done now with exclusive rectangles, we can uh, now save the project, project and save, is already safe, and uh, now we can click this mm, button, build all, and this button is going to create for us uh, the, the package to export into community. This is the console, and in the console we can see that we, we have uh, zero failed stuff, and this is what you are looking for. Uh, and of course, uh, not, no error related to our, um, to our scenery. Uh, the exclusion rectangle, you can see it working by now, the airplane is still there. To see the exclusion rectangle working, you need to compile. We have done uh, uh, 30 seconds ago. And, uh, put the compiled file into the community. And let's see what we have got. Okay, well, the scene is shutting down. We can see that in our project folder, we now have a packages folder. And this package folder should go into community. So we can copy it into community. And now we have to close the sim and reload the simulator to see it uh, in um, to see it working. Okay, now we have boot up the sim and we can already see if our scenery is mounted in the virtual file system uh, by going into the tool virtual file system and in the mount points I'm gonna write zzz and I'm gonna see that our scenery is mounted into the file system. So let's uh, open uh, the Ramstein scenery. Okay, now the flight is loaded. 
I'm in a developer camera, which is very handy to, to drive. And as you can see, the airplane that uh, the big C5 Galaxy that were here and the other airplane that were here are not there anymore. So our uh, exclusive rectangle is working. Uh, we can um, visually see also the exclusive rectangle by going to the options and by clicking uh, terrain, the bug exclusive rectangles, and here are our uh, exclusive rectangle from our package. Here it is, Mammo Design, Rammstein, Exclude. Okay, and uh, how does uh, uh, exclusion work with the exclusion rectangle? And for this, we should go to the um, Windows Explorer in the main flag simulator folder, which is located in, uh, in the user, your name, our data, local packages, and those long number. And if we go to the local cache, there is a file that is called content.xml. And that content.xml contains all the packages that are loaded into the sim. So all the content of your community folder and the official folder. And this is, um, this is a fixed order. And the first are loaded uh, the FS base files. And then is loaded the official folder uh, in um, alphabetic order, you know, lexicographic order. And then at this point, right at this point here, starts the loading of the community folder. So as you can see, my senior is Mammo Design Power Line, Process Leaf, Solar Farm, and so on. And also the Puffin sceneries are loaded um, right at the beginning of the community folder. And there is a reason we put this file here, right at, at the beginning of the community folder. And by the way, this is done putting the A, A on the on the beginning of the name of the package, because we want that. Uh, this uh, this type of scenery, this uh, global scenery, stays uh, below uh, the sceneries of uh, our creators. Other creators can exclude our stuff because we are making uh, global stuff that uh, is um, is not uh, specific for a place. And uh, so go going on, and this is uh, all loaded on top of each other. So the last entry here is loaded on top of everything. And in fact, before our scenery, that's my desire to exclude, we have the runtime scenery. We want to exclude. If this is here, for no reason, our packages will be loaded, of course, but after that, the scenery will be loaded. And as soon as um, after the scenery, there is no exclusion rectangle, you're gonna see the planes on spot. Okay. And uh, the content.xml is, is not editable inside the simulator, but uh, is safely, yeah, no safe, quit, and quit the simulator. The content.xml is safely to be deleted because this is going to be recreated every time the simulator starts. This and also the scenery indices can also be deleted. And I strongly, strongly advise to delete this at every update, uh, just like the rolling cache. So you delete the content.xml, the um, scenery indices, and the rolling cache, and then you make sure that the scenery order is um, right as your community order in lexicographic order. So I am back in Ramstein, and uh, as you can see, I'm not in the de developer mode. This is normal mode, and I'm flying with, uh, with a drone, and the airplanes are, are not there. And if we, can, if we go back to the content of XML, you can see that it's been recreated after we uh, removed it. And the order is changed according 
to uh, the the lexicographic order, alphabetic order. The things is in the thing here of excluding uh, the the planes is still working because our scenery is loaded after the scenery we want to exclude. So after the main uh, Ramstein scenery in this case, that by the way is a is a great scenery. Uh, there are a lot of uh, animations uh, and uh, historic planes. It's it's very fantastic. So try it. It's on flyscene.io. And so, since the package name is so important for the order in the content.xml, we can now remove this Mambo Design here and we go into the inspector and this. We can say that we are triple Z company and update the package name. Yeah. So, while we build this, yeah. Now, in our uh, project folder, yeah, the package is going to be called triple Z. Okay, great. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, see you next time. If you have any question, uh, please uh, write me here on YouTube or on the Discord channel. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe if you like this kind of video. See you soon. Bye-bye.